Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and styling. So today I wanted to give you guys a almost final update on my Invisalign. This is my last tray guys. So this tray is tray number 10 in my second set of 13. You guys know the last three trays are retainers. So I do have a dentist appointment in January, or well, orthodontist appointment in January. So how am I feeling? I feel good about them. It's one thing that I wanna show him when I do see him. I don't wanna do anymore, I'm tired. It's been eight months, um, which is not really long, guys. I know some of you guys have, have, have had them for like a year, sometimes even longer, but I am pleased with it. I did not have a lot of changing to happen to my teeth. Just a little bit of shifting that was going on because I'm getting older. So I'm gonna come a little closer. I do have the aligners on now. Can you guys see? And these two, okay. These two teeth right here, like my fangs. I don't mind them, but it's funny because when I smile and, I, and I'm talking, I can see them now, like even more. I don't want to shave them down because I don't want to have like, there's no such thing as perfect teeth in my opinion, um, well, unless you got like veneers or something, but I don't know, maybe I'll still keep them. I don't think I'm going to cut them down. Um, I feel like I need them. <laughs> uh, and then as far as the top. These, everything is good. This one moved here. Now this tooth, it kind of looks like it's going that way, but I think it has something to do with the way my teeth are shaped. They're like kind of round. They're not like super straight at the bottom. Um, and everything else looks pretty good. This, this, at the middle where they did the shaving down here, it's, it's close now. So I was thinking if he were to shave in between these two here, <laughs> maybe it'll bring them even closer. I don't know, cause I'm seeing like a little space. He's probably going to say something. And it's that whole black triangle thing that they call it. It's not really black, but it looks like a, like you can see through. There's like a space between the front and the back of your teeth. But okay, <clears throat> let me give you a breakdown of this last tray. For whatever reason, this last tray was hurting. I mean, I don't know why. Like, I gave you guys a little breakdown of the other ones that were like slightly hurting. But this last tray, I even, like I was having like a little pain here. I low-key had like a headache a bit and I was just like oh my goodness so I was like taking them out and I'm just I was trying to push through the plant I slept with them you know when I first put them on anytime I change my tray I typically change them at night so I can sleep with them on and eliminate feeling half of that pain but Lord this last tray was just like the absolute worst now I'm hoping when I go back to him if he says, hey, do you want to get some more? I don't want to, but if he sees certain things, I will. Maybe like, maybe less than 10 trays possibly, because I got 10 the last time, which was well, 13 in total. Um, but I would say that's like two and a half months, which brought me over to like eight, eight months, right? So I don't know, what do you guys think? If I'm not 100, if you're not 100% satisfied, I recommend you making sure you get as many trays as you possibly can. Yes, it becomes tiring because we do become a little bit lazy when we are wearing them. Um, the last set, I did play around a little bit. It's not that I didn't wear them all day. Sometimes when I take them out, like eat and stuff, I won't brush my teeth right away and put it like I'll watch TV for like a good 40 minutes <laughs> instead of just running upstairs, brushing, putting them back on. Uh, but that's like that was just like a little bad habit this last set now the first set I was 
strict. I was not playing because I wanted to get certain parts of my teeth straight and I didn't want to mess around with the timing of it to push myself back. Um, like I said, it was very, very painful this time, this last trade. Don't know why. Other than that, everything has been really good. I am hoping that when I do take them off, that they get off all the all of the attachments with no problem. I'm gonna get them whitened. And if anything else is needed, then I'll get that done as well. And I'm gonna try to document that part when they take everything off. Um, I did go to my regular dentist. So if you are going to your regular dentist with your attachments and if they did not do your Invisalign or your Spark Aligners or whatever type of aligners you have, you're gonna be fine. They still clean your teeth the same way. They still floss them the same way. Um, they were actually happy that I did it because they knew that I wanted to do it and that I paid less money because they are out of network. And where I went for my Spark Aligners, they were in network, so which was a, a steal for me because my insurance covered half of it. Um, so I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. If you have insurance, dental insurance, make sure you are going to an orthodontist that is in network. Find a really good one. Your insurance is most likely going to cover the majority of it for you. Um, if you have good insurance, guys, okay? <laughs> so check out those benefits and make sure that they are covered. Um, like I said, I was happy because the first place, my regular dentist, she was trying to charge like 5500 and they were not covering a thing like it was like a little bit of money so that's my quick tip but yes yeah, so these are my teeth I'm excited um, I'm so used to wearing the aligners that I know I'm not gonna have a hard time wearing my retainers because you have to wear those at night so I'm sure I'll be really really good with wearing those at night um, but we'll see I'll keep you guys posted if I do end up getting more trays because I want my old smile back. Guys, I used to have perfect, no, not perfect teeth. I used to have teeth like my mom. She had like beautiful teeth. And I don't know, as I got older, they just started doing its own little thing and I just really wasn't with it, right? So um, your teeth are important. Trust me, they are. If you could afford it, do it flat out. If you have to do a payment plan, try to go somewhere where it's a payment plan, but you do not have to pay interest. That way you're not feeling like you're rushed and they give you some time to pay for it. So that's it. Just a quick little tip on my second set of my spark aligners, my final tray guys. And I'm going to do a final, final video <laughs> once January hits and I kind of figure out what we're going to do if it's my last tray or if I'm going to do some more. And then I'll break every single thing down for you guys and just plop it all in one video. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC. And my personal blog, Coco Styles NYC. And my style and services, Coco Styles NY.com, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, hold on. Before I go, I'm going to plop in a picture <laughs> of what I am wearing today. I have on a Kos, like shawl, which is super cute, an Abercrombie and Fitch bodysuit, um, some Kos pants that are like capris, a culotte, and some Charles David boots. I kept it super simple today, super accessories. Um, I have to get into the routine of showing you guys my outfits when I'm actually on camera because sometimes I forget but I will catch you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs>